I believe that I was born lesbian. In all my life, I always fell in love with other girls and women. I went about trying to find other lesbians in the bar life in Los Angeles. This would have been about 1964. So I came out as a bar dyke. And I became a school teacher. So I was a closeted dyke. Way back in the 50s and 60s, uh, I had some infatuations about some guys, uh, but of course my religious faith was totally against any idea of being in a relationship or especially any sexual contact. And also in the 60s I got married, so that was simply out of the question. I was committed to the marriage, but I realised it was just that something missing, that close soulness was not there. Well, coming out, it was only after I became a widower, really. I had a funny outing. <laughs> I had an outing when I was in my 30s. I had um, a baby and I thought I was going to lose her because of being an unfit mother because I was a lesbian woman. Over the years, it became very difficult. So I just tried to be straight again. This might sound funny to you, but it, I just tried to be straight. I tried to be the good Christian girl. The lack of confidence in me was, was marked by the reality of the times that, that in the 60s, you know, you would be frightened of being um, bashed for being effeminate gay if you wanted to present in the slightest way as a feminine sort of person if you were male-bodied and... It was that fear that kept me in the closet for so, so long. I got all my, fam my sisters and brothers together and I said, well, I'm telling you now that I've just been diagnosed with HIV because if I become fully blind with AIDS, I don't want to scare you because in the days when I was diagnosed, that was in 1985, it was like a two-year life sentence. You knew that, you know, you would most probably die. And I went totally blind 22 years ago. It hasn't been easy. I was sentenced to prison for one month because I was living with a lady. We were living together. We were in the shearing sheds. But the consortium law was in, and the police were there on payday to arrest you. And that was it. Yesterday, I popped over to help my daughter clean her house sometimes for her because she's got three children and she works full time. And my grandson goes, oh, Nan, what are you doing here today? It's Thursday. And I said, well, tomorrow I'm making a video. And I told him what I was doing. And he goes, oh, I'm so proud of you, Nan. And I said, I need to ask you something. I really don't want you boys to feel like I'm in your face with putting on video or on the TV that you see grandma or someone and that your friends have a go at you and my lifestyle to affect yours and he goes well what are you talking about now that's ridiculous like I, I'm just happy for who you are and you should do these things and you should be a voice and I'm proud of you and I thought you see that is internal homophobia and so when you get to nursing homes and all the elderly that are in nursing homes or care facilities they go back in the closet they're frightened for lesser care and they get lesser care. There's so much work needs to be done.